again. Mr. Mori, uh, do you have any particular views on when the rolls should close after an election is called? Yes. I'm very strongly of the view that the earlier they close, the better. In Britain, uh, it used to close as late as six working days before the poll. It is now 11 working days before the poll. Experience has shown that fraudsters who are putting false names on the register or falsely using the names of real voters make their necessary applications in large quantities in the days immediately prior to the closing of the rolls. The result is that it is almost impossible for the electoral authorities even to register these voters, let alone carry out any form of checks or verification. The shorter the period between the close of rolls and the actual vote, the easier fraud is and the more will occur. The politicians say, oh, it's most important to get the young people on the rolls and they only go on when they hear an election is coming. The, I think the answer to that is that if they want to go on the rolls, they will put themselves on the rolls in good time. They will certainly not do it at the last moment. If there is a last moment surge in voters going on the rolls, you may be fairly confident that a high proportion of those will be people who are either ineligible to vote or who don't exist at all. In Australia, it's very easy to vote in a number, in any polling place, just about. And... Uh, if you go along and have your name struck off, it still remains on the other rails because they don't maintain a computer link, should they? Well, the answer, the answer is, if that is your system, they should certainly maintain a computer link between them to prevent multiple voting. Um, in Britain, one of the few things we do that is sensible is that when you are a lot sent your polling card to vote for a particular election, you are assigned a polling station and you attend that station. And if you attend another station in the same electoral area, they will not have your name on the roll. They will simply uh, send you to your correct station. So you cannot vote at any station other than the one that has been designated to you, which will always be the one nearest to your home. Do you think there should be some identification required when you vote? I think when you vote at a polling station, Probably not, providing you have the safeguards of only able, being able to vote at one polling station. Identification probably isn't necessary because the incidence of fraud at that point in time, though it occurs, is very small indeed and is containable. Um, in any event, identification is not always easy to produce because you would have to have identification of the individual's identity and of the individual's current address. And what we would not want, I think, is to go to the level of having to produce, in effect, a copy of your passport and a copy of your latest gas bill. Um, that, I think, would be going too far. With regard to postal votes, any system of identification, however secure it looks, is wide open to uh, abuse and fraud. It simply cannot be um, constructed otherwise. When you vote, should you have to produce some sort of card from the electoral office telling you to vote at that polling station, do you think? It's not obligatory in the UK, um, but in practice you, you are sent a card which you produce at the uh, polling station. Uh, if, you, if you don't, um, uh, you can satisfy them that you are the person you say you are. But normally what you do is you produce your polling card and they then tick you off the list. Good. Thank you very much.